it's not they don't really care but not other brands that are more uh, you know more cultivate that in a very specific way and so that's the first reason is it because as ad revenue is going to become less and less stable for a content creator less content creators are going to want to pursue different tasks that basically their revenue is determined by ad revenue and their money is determined by ad revenue and they're going to look I'm reacting to yourself to yeah your these are this is a really good video this is great video <laughs> Here we, right oh, here we go. For my audience, it's about 25% of my views are monetized. So that means about 75 to 80% of my audience is using Adblock. And I'm using 80% because some people could potentially whitelist my channel and watch the ads on there out of their own volition. But basically, uh, ad, ad block this is video never going earlier? to go no. away. They're never going to outlaw ad block, and whenever they do outlaw ad block, nobody's going to care, and they're still going to use ad block. It's never going to go away. And uh, ads on the internet are dying, and there are always going to be some people that see ads, but using them as like a facet on different pages, like pop up ads or anything like that, that is dying, and it's going to be dead. What things are transitioning to is having content creators funded directly through their audience. And I believe this is going to be probably the most stable thing for people to do, and it also is going to allow them to invest entirely in their content. So what I mean by that is that they're going to have uh, Patreon pages. That's the future, I think. Patreon pages, subscriptions, uh, donations, that kind of stuff. And the whole Was I right? I would say that I'm right. I would say that I was right four or five years ago. I predicted only fans. Can you believe that? Yep. Era of ad revenue and people being beholden to different I guess like things through ad revenue is going to uh, slowly fade away. It'll always be around, but I do believe it will slowly fade away. Uh, yes. Social justice movements to demonetize and deplatform people are only accelerating that process. So, what does that mean for. Which I think is a good thing. Um, I think that the less beholden people are to ad revenue as a general construct, the better. And uh, this just this makes the uh, it makes the platform more free. It makes it less volatile, and it makes it more safe for content creators to invest in in the long term because they are funded entirely by their audience. Uh, this has happened. I think one big way this has happened recently is by people selling merchandise. Uh, in 2017, merchandise was big. Now it's twice as big, three times as big. And you're seeing even more of that. And you're also seeing content creators relying primarily. This is where most content creators are making their money. Uh, and, and actually, I cannot say most because I don't know about most. This is what, this is my best analysis that I can give of it. Uh, um, is that most content creators make their money through direct uh, direct sponsorship. Like for example, um, I have been offered over $200,000 to play a video game on my stream for a couple of hours. Think about how long it would take for me to make that money back if I was what the fucking fuck. Yeah, that's right. And the thing is that I get enough of those offers that I could do one of those probably every other week. I could probably do one of those every other week. May, uh, I, I, maybe not about every month. And it's not to gamble. It's not to gamble or to sell uh, dick pills or anything like that. It's, it's actual, uh, actual games. So, 
Uh, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but here's what I'm really trying to get at. Is you think about how much money... Uh, how much money that is just for like a one tap. A and you could you can easily make the argument. Here's, here's what it is. You can easily make the argument... And this is a viewer power fantasy, I believe. And I'm going to talk about this whenever I turn the camera on and actually have this discussion, like, really. Uh, this is a viewer power fantasy that if you take sponsorships that are, that the, th that this viewer disagrees with, that it will affect your viewership. This is not true. It, it's just, it's not true. Pretty much every single streamer uh, on the platform takes sponsorships. A good example is, um, look at Zach Rar. Uh, Zach Rar does not take any sponsorships yet. But Zach Rar is not the biggest Twitch stream on Twitch. Um, every other streamer, like look at people who do like Moon Moon, uh, is not the biggest stream on Twitch. He's a big streamer, absolutely, but he's not the biggest. and. Uh, he doesn't do ads either. So there's no correlation between doing ads and a reduction in viewership. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 exactly. So he's getting there? Uh, well, so are other people too. And, and what I'm saying is that the reason why Moon Moon is getting there is not because he doesn't run ads and he doesn't do sponsorships. Moon Moon is getting okay, there because people are fucking okay. watching his stream because they're Super. waiting for the return of John Souls in Elden Ring. Well, I know I am. It's going to be fucking amazing. Du kan inte lära dig att gå va. God, I can't fucking slängde. wait for that. Eller? And räcker det till dig. Sponsorships kill your stream. Uh, that's why you're not <laughs> on <laughs> mainstream. <laughs> well, when was the last time I well, wait a minute. So you think that sponsorships kill kill your stream and that's why I'm not on mainstream. Oh. When was the last time I did a sponsorship? Yeah. So, and again, like, this is, and, like, this is what I'm really trying to get at, is that this is a viewer power fantasy. Uh, the viewer power fantasy is that the viewer can dictate and effectively punish the streamer for doing advertisements because they disagree with it or they don't like it or they feel like uh, it, it, it's not fair that the streamer gets this much money. Uh, it's, a, it's a viewer power fantasy. I'm just an asshole with no clue what you're talking about. Well, no, I, I mean, I'm not really... Here, here's the thing, like, I don't really care about what I'm saying. Like, I'm not getting, I'm not trying to get in an argument with this. What I'm really trying to get at is whenever you actually break down what these people think, it's completely vapid. It, it, it's, it's a, uh, um, it, it's not, it's completely transparent. Seems like you're not, seems like you're not on mainstream to game contracts. Oh, so now it's okay. So uh, we're, we're gonna move on now. Um, yeah, we're we're just we're just gonna completely move on. And uh, talking about using using power fantasies. Well, yeah, Arnold. The reason why is like it's 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 a topic that we're gonna go over in a little bit for a video. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not. It won't decrease viewership, but it will decrease the love. Really. How many of Mizkif's viewers do you think love him? How many sponsors does Mizkif do? Mizkif's viewers fucking love him, man. They like him so much. They think he's great. They want to watch his stuff all the time. How many people do you think love train wrecks? Tons of people love train wrecks. They think he's fucking great. Every stream's an ad. Yera.
shot speed. Yeah, no, that train. Well, what I'm saying is that, like, again, I just have. I found. Now, I, I I think that you can make a um, ad absurdum argument. If you do only ads ever and all the time that you go online, you probably will not be successful. Right? I think I think that we can pretty easily make this argument that the odds are that if you only do ads, yeah, ad absurdum, um, literally and, uh, you know, in this way, that, yeah, th this probably would not be the case. Steph Curry is slinging Subway sandwiches and people love him. Yeah, and he should be fucking, he should be slinging fucking Schlotzky's because Schlotzky's is better. You know it, I know it, everybody fucking knows it. But he's doing that, and so is Jersey Mike's is better too. But he's slinging Subway because Subway needs to replace Jared. And, and they're going to pay big money for it, and Steph Curry's great. So that's where I'm really trying to get at. Schlotzky's at? Yeah, Schlotzky's hit me up. It's one thing of being an infomercial stream and other things do two hours of sponsored stuff occasionally. Exactly. And there are viewers that believe that even if you do that, the viewers uh, will leave and stop watching you. This is not true, and I think that, and I, I understand that. The reason why I believe that is based off of literally pretty much every single stream on Twitch over my five-year analysis being on the platform for hours every single day, right? So that, that's not the case. So where am I going with this? Like, what, what is the whole point of what I'm saying? The whole point of what I'm saying is that more and more streamers are taking these individual ad opportunities for something like Raid Shadow Legends, for something like um, Manscaped, for something like... Uh, Apex Legends or Fortnite or just any video game sponsorship. NordVPN, yeah, we had all crap sponsored by NordVPN. Uh, you know, I can't say how much because it's NDA, but I'll tell you that we make more money from NordVPN than we do from ad revenue during the show. I think we can pretty much fucking assume that, right? So, what I'm really trying to get at here my point that I'm really trying to, uh, to, to, to hammer home is that this is, uh, this is already happening. And it's because viewers don't really care about the streamer's livelihood to the extent that it affects their ability to view the content. So, like, if the streamer was to say... Uh, you know, or make a way for people to, you, you can only watch the content if you pay for it. Most people would say, later, bitch. And that's the way it goes. And I think this is the same with anybody. Um, and, and you even have the same stuff with OnlyFans. Uh, you have people that, you know, you do have people that buy OnlyFans, but I would say most people that consume content on OnlyFans do it through Google. Let's be honest. And it's like, this girl's trying to make a living. Do you care that she's trying to make a living? No. This is irrelevant to you. This doesn't, like, th this does not matter to you. You just want to, you, you just want the content. And uh, it doesn't really matter, like, what it is. I just want Google. Yeah, exactly. Time spent by creators offline is seldom considered. Well, the truth is, is that it doesn't matter if it's considered or not. You could tell people that you worked on this all day, every day for a month, and if you ask people to pay for it, they still say no. Uh, the reason why is because they don't care about it. Uh, they don't care about your problems because your problems are not their problems. They have their own problems. Why, why, why are they now inheriting your problems? Uh, this is the same thing I said before about, like, you, you can't, like, people are going to get mad, like, for example, for Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy and Walker have a lot of views. People are really pissed off about it. And I'm also going to use Blizzard as an example, too. 
do they care that there's a chip shortage? No. Why would it matter to them if there's a chip shortage? Are they paying money to understand that there's a chip shortage? No, they're paying money to play Final Balls Fantasy. Of steel. So if they can't play Final Fantasy, they're pissed off. It's the same thing as Blizzard. Uh, people can be literally killing themselves, literally killing themselves at Blizzard. And, uh, you know, having their breast milk stolen and then being blamed for having to, uh, you know, like, I, I, you, you see, like, all the bad Blizzard stuff, okay? Like, I mean, well, I, I don't want to go through every single one, right? All I'm really trying to say is that there are a lot of, like, really, really bad things that happen to Blizzard mm -hmm. and people still unsubbed. And do you know why they unsubbed? It's because the content was bad. That's why. And they don't care, or their 9.2 isn't out yet. And do you know what the truth is? That if Blizzard came out and they said that 9.2 is getting delayed because of all the sexual harassment and we've had to get rid of those people. There would still be a lot of people who just simply unsub. You probably wouldn't see a lot of them complaining. You would see a lot of them complaining, actually, you would. But there would be substantially less complaining than the ones that just quietly unsub. Because your $15 is your $15. You're not going to pay them $15 because they can't keep their hands to themselves at the California campus. It's not your problem. You don't care about them. You think you do until you have to pay for it, and then you realize you don't. Right, so for example, they all had the same bullshit, and everyone still plays Riot games. Uh, Riot wasn't as bad, but Ubisoft was. Uh, uh, Ubisoft was really bad, too. And all of these games, people still, you think you do, but you don't. Yeah, there you go. It's not the consumer's place to understand why a service isn't being delivered. Exactly. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's like for, for me, like I stopped screaming because of my mom's problem. People still unsub for my channel. Guess what? I don't hold that against anybody. <laughs> they sub for streams, they're not getting streams. It's that simple. Yeah, it, it's literally that simple. There's no uh, fine print here. Still an sub. I, I mean, a lot of people are subbed, and, you know, I really appreciate that and everything. And uh, I always look at subs as donations. Um, uh, I don't really do anything special for subs, and that's intentional. Uh, the reason why I don't do anything special for subs is because I want to treat all of my viewers the same. Uh, I, I want to make sure that... You know, people aren't being differentiated uh, by how much money they give you. Uh, I don't like that. It makes me uncomfortable. You know why? Because if you offer that, nothing's free. People will want something out of it, and I probably don't want to give them. People will want extra privileges, um, extra things. Uh, it allows me to preserve my autonomy and it also gives me the ability to uh to treat everybody the way that i want to you often go sub in the chat though sometimes i have to but that's more uh, I, I, it's it's not something that i want to do really usually it happens because of something that's like uh, like sometimes there's like a, a video that plays and there's like a, a woman on the screen who's fat and like everybody's making fun of her for being fat. So I put it in sub mode because of that. Yeah, it's like spur control. Like usually the reason I have to do it for that is uh, is because of, of a woman. But like there are guys that, that the same thing happens to as well. It, it's not just a female thing, but I think most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, or YouTube, 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 or YouTube
Well, the thing with like the sidewalk, that was like literally four people messaging and like somebody saying his eyes looks like he played the game for like, you know, 15 hours or something. It's not really that much of an insult. I think it's just kind of like a, <laughs> yeah, it's funny, right? You know, I know I've been there too. But um, I think it's very easy to tell whenever somebody is doing like a little bit of banter and whenever somebody is uh, uh, malicious or somebody is trying to uh, be cruel. So that's the way I see it. Wouldn't emote only mode be better? Uh, I find that sub only mode is better. The reason why sub only mode is better is that there's a lot of people that are non-subs that want to be able to talk. And whenever they know that that behavior will result in sub only mode, it causes them to negatively respond to the people that are being hostile in chat as to prevent them and discourage them from doing the things that would cause it to go into sub only mode, which is also the things that I don't want them to do. So it effectively causes my viewers to do my work for me. Speed up. So, um, I'm going to do, I think this is my last character. Yeah, this is my last character. Pay out for doing your work. Hey, pay, you want me to pay you guys? I am. You're probably using ad blocker. Okay. The, the least you can do is tell some Spurrigan chat to shut the fuck up. You don't run ads? How do you know? I only run ads at... I only run ads at the end of the stream. Like, if Twitch makes a rule... Like I said before, like, this isn't really... A, um, this isn't really a secret that Twitch did not offer me a custom contract. If they did, I would be getting paid, you know, like a... a probably a pretty high seven-figure... Uh, payment for, for doing this and I would I would run ads for that much money absolutely but uh, it looks like that's not going to be a thing point out that contract um, a lot of reasons but uh, I think that really it came down to uh, myself being extremely critical about Twitch in many cases, and that was not the main reason. I think the main reason is the fact that I'm inconsistent. Uh, I stop streaming and start streaming whenever I want to. I do everything on my own terms, and I don't, I'm not accountable to anybody. And uh, they have minimum hours, you know, like Valkyrie was talking about this. A brand risk? I'm not really a brand risk. Um, like, I say things that are you could say brand unfriendly but i'm good enough at saying them and express and expressing myself that people don't get mad about it if that makes sense. Who cares about making boatloads? Well, uh, uh, I mean, if they had offered me a lot of money, I probably would have taken it because it's like, uh, it just allows me to do whatever I want with my life. And, uh, you know, I, I do have things that I would do with the money. And, you know, of course, especially now that you know, we have a guy who can invest some of that. I wouldn't really invest my own personal money because it's a, uh, it's a conflict, right? But I, I could invest it in a in uh and and things like that so like i there's a lot of things that i would do with the money but like i i, I don't really care about uh, like an expensive car or a big house just per se but i care about other things